Hey guys, this is Sasha and welcome to my week 36 pregnancy update. OMG, we only have two weeks left. And of course, I've got a co-host with me that is moving around. And if you see the balloons in the background, that is 100% Josiah. But yeah, this video is going to be a quick update. It hasn't been too much moving and grooving this week. But I did want to let you know what was going on. So first and foremost, I went to my doctor's appointment on Wednesday. Um, I am now back down to 274 and a half pounds. So I lost a pound and a half because last week I was 276. Uh, baby's heart rate was around 152 at the very highest. It got up to 161 during the NST, but everything's looking good. I do use my fetal Doppler at home every day. Um, I feel the need to say this. I do not want people to get confused, especially those of you who have followed with me. I always have anxiety towards the end because of my previous loss. And so I use my pocket fetal Doppler every day. It's probably my number one use thing along with pillows and prenatals during um, my pregnancy. And I might actually do my top five pregnancy must-haves for me. Uh, but anyway, that's a whole nother thing. So that's what's going on there. My blood pressure did go down, you guys. I was super excited about that. It was 110 over 73. So my um, top number, which I think is the systolic number and the bottom number, um, both went down, which is good because I was concerned that I might have uh, preeclampsia, um, which I do not. There was no protein in my urine, so... All of that was perfectly fine, and the doctor checked that out. Baby's heart rate was good. There was a couple contractions while I was at the doctor's office, but nothing like super huge or like, oh my God, be prepared that she's going to give birth early. So none of those. I am now done with traveling. Um, it was a little tough on my body, and honestly, uh, I normally don't travel this close to delivery, but, you know, God bless us to get through it. Sorry about that. And um, it's over and done with now. Praise the Lord. I feel like we're a little crooked. There we go. That's better. Um, so we're done with the traveling. The, the boys' room is close to being finished. I've had some more last-minute changes. And so be prepared. That video will be coming within the next week or two so that you can see the nursery vlog as well as the nursery reveal. I've also started working on the diaper bag, um, but more so, I mean, diaper bag is a diaper bag, but the biggest thing is what's in my hospital bag, knowing that I'm having a set scheduled C-section. I'm still tongue-tied, y'all. Um, but I haven't been sleeping that well. I've had some real crazy, like, nightmare type situation still going on um i have to toss and turn because it's like my hips ache kind of like when we have the air on or even when the like the windows on when there's a change in temperature or the air is blowing i feel like i almost have arthritis in my hips because they ache so bad so that's a whole nother thing but you know you get prepared for aches and pains once you've had a kid because quite honestly that's part of the whole entire process um, you have aches and pains while the baby's growing and then when your uterus is contracting and all the fun stuff and after you've had an epidural, um, then you have aches and pains again. Please sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on there. So I'm feeling more prepared. I've done a lot of washing. Just the last few things like we want to do the carpets and, um, definitely finish packing the bags and finish the nursery over the course of the next week and just spend that last week resting. We so we did go to the beach yesterday, which was pretty exciting. It was Josiah's first time going to the beach and being at the water. And it was a little difficult for me, but thank God, husband is a lifesaver. I'll have like a clip playing here. I actually have two different clips. So I think I'll put one here and then I'll put one at the end of the video. Josiah met a whole bunch of kids. Like he's super, super friendly, which is awesome always awesome and I just kind of enjoyed myself I didn't do like a lot of stuff we were there for about four hours but I just kind of more so was in the shade because we have our umbrella I have my little fan and had plenty of hydration and kind of just enjoyed like 
a little baby moon daycation, if you want to call it. Um, so that was pretty nice just to kind of unwind. We are going to schedule our maternity shoot. I think he wants to join in on the video. Okay, here we go. So we are scheduling our maternity shoot for this Sunday. Um, we're just gonna go back to JC Penny, she guys. It's not anything like grand or anything like that, but it's primarily because we're running out of time. We don't have like less than two weeks. And we've always had maternity pictures for our kids. And I'm afraid that with so much still going on and just it's just busy. Like we're super busy in preparation of things that I don't want to miss out on making sure that he has his maternity pictures um, just like the other kids have had and I think it's important because we'll have Josiah in it and it's just really a big deal. Along with photos, um, I contacted a photographer who actually is requesting if you are having a baby, an African American baby, if that um, that they want to do free photo shoots and so of course I like checked out her page and everything on social media and I can see why she's asking for the ad it's not being funny or anything you can tell that she doesn't have a lot of minority clientele and so if I can get some free maternity not maternity newborn pictures which I try to do some with Josiah and if I remember you guys I'll insert that picture here but they were a hot mess. I did not. I tried to do it myself, like moving pillows and everything. It just didn't work out. And I've always just desired to do something different every time. And so he's got tons of pictures and I love taking pictures of him. But I would like to have some nice pictures this time. Like I want to kind of move up a step every time we're blessed to have children. And this might be our last child. So to have nice newborn photos is kind of a big deal. Um, symptoms other than the hurting hips and the nightmares while sleeping. Yeah, you can see yourself. Say hi. Um, headaches. Oh my God. That's why I thought I might have preeclampsia. I've had headaches every day for like the last week and a half and I have to take Tylenol. I've upped my water intake. I rest, I rest, I rest. Um, I've even gone as far as to now... Pretty much, I'm cooking everything. I'm kicking breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm adding in healthier things. I try to change my diet towards the end, especially knowing that I want to nurse. I want to incorporate healthy fats that have like healthy omegas and things like that. Natural probiotics that are going to help fuel my body so that I can establish a really healthy milk supply. And um, I know I'm starting off with colostrum, but I want whatever my body is producing to be the healthiest as possible. So that means I spend the last two and a half um, to three weeks really cleaning up my eating and focusing on um, just eating better. And with that, uh, I could definitely tell it had benefits to helping with the blood pressure. And I even think it had to do with why it was a weight loss. Um, because it just helped with my digestive and going to the bathroom and all that other stuff. But y'all, it did not help with the headaches. Like, it was just, the headaches are still there. Um, this little fella is not necessarily helping. He talks all the time. This is the quietest he's been all day. Um, which there's nothing wrong with. It's just, I wish there was something I can do about the headaches. But the reality is, I've had them before in my pregnancy. I was just hoping the doc had a remedy maybe you know so much advancement occurred since my first pregnancy but he was like nope um when in doubt just lay down and do what you got to do so that's the biggest thing dealing with the headaches I have had some heartburn like it seems to happen between like 10 30 and 12 every night the heartburn just comes I keep Tums upstairs and the uh, bathroom I keep it downstairs in the kitchen I think I have some in the diaper bag for when we're out and about and I try to drink nice cold water or something with ice in it in the evening to help with the heartburn y'all but oh it like it just comes all at once and I feel like I'm going to like puke fire <laughs> so that's what's happening there I haven't got any new baby vibes 
I did get another box. I feel like I'm getting everything all at once. So, I got a box of Infamil, um, like the canisters of Infamil formula, which is good because if I don't use it because I nurse, um, my sister can use it because my niece is only six months old. So, that's pretty awesome there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just like I feel like there's just a whole bunch of things that we just have to tie up a few loose ends. Um, need to clean. I want to take apart his car seat as well as baby boy's car seat and really just wipe down everything. I think I'm just like in full cleansing mode. Like I bought hand sanitizer. I went to the store and bought toiletries for you know the hospital bag and everything like that and just like travel and have them all squared away um i think i'm just in organization mode how can we best be organized before they come excuse me and i still need to do uh food so it's just a whole bunch of things and i know like some people are like oh you should have been doing it all along the way but if I buy too much stuff ahead of time, then I overbuy and it's stuff that I don't use. And so, like, I'm trying to come up with a tactical approach on the food. We normally are pretty good. My husband works at a supermarket full time. And so, like, we're pretty good on being able to get stuff when we need it. It's more so, um, it's hot and it's summery and I don't want to do a lot of cooking. So, I want to do, like, fast things, but I don't like heavy stuff, so... I just need to figure some things out. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But um, I don't think I miss anything. I went over weight. I went over blood pressure. I went over symptoms. Baby's measuring nicely. I have no clue, guess-wise, how big he is going to be. Well, I still say around 6 pounds, only because my kids seem to go up gradually. So I'm going to say around 6 pounds or something, some ounces. Um, but if he's smaller than that, that's okay. I'm used to small kids. Um, and if he's bigger than that, that's okay too. As long as he comes out healthy, then I am super excited and very grateful. So anyway, you guys, I'm not gonna hold you any longer. You know, of course I'm gonna leave with a bump shot. I definitely feel like my belly has dropped. You can see my belly button poking through this dress. I'm still having hot flashes because we're in full mist of summer and I'm still just trying to make it y'all but as long as you keep watching and I keep being pregnant and living life we gonna be here we still gonna be cool we gonna do what we gotta do um so I'll leave you guys with the belly shot and I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day and I'll see you in the next video bye, bye.